Hey guys, it's Dr. Dan and Steph back here at B Fitness going through the kettlebell shoulder roll. A great exercise for developing uh, upper body and core rotation and scapular movement, right? So a lot of people get really tight up in their neck and so we're gonna break this exercise down and show you how to do it the correct way to maximize your lat to core engagement and utilization. So let's get the kettlebell off at our chest, all right? And in the first position, as we've seen in previous videos, you wanna let that weight pull down the arm and kind of set right into her mid back, right into her lats, right? And now let's go over to the right side. And as she raises the weight to the side, we're gonna reset the lat down on the right and the lat down on the left. So the weight is really pulling down into her core and into her mid back. Now let's go behind. Same thing, set, and now over here to the left, right? And you guys are seeing this on the, on the screen, she's soft up in her neck, so the weight is really driving out of her lats. Go ahead, now let's tie it all together. Boom, 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 boom. Inhale and roll as we exhale, and inhale around the, ball, uh, around the right and the left side. Exhale as we roll, inhale, exhale. And now about three reps, now let's go around the opposite way. Okay, exhaling as we roll, inhaling as we coming back, exhale, roll, inhale, center, exhale, roll, inhale, center, exhale, roll, good. Okay, so when we reset, she's gonna let that weight press down and back into the shoulders, so we got zero, 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 absolutely zero neck tension, okay? One more key point, let's go back to one side. Great regression for this exercise, is working on just again, setting that lat down and back on the left side and the right side. And she can feel right in her mid back. Why don't you turn around and show the camera this way. So, so in this position, shoulder down, perfect. Her neck is soft right now. And she feels this massive tricep to lat engagement and tricep to lat engagement. All right, you can unwind and twist out of that position. That's the kettlebell shoulder roll. Some key points is learn how to roll that weight with your obliques, with your lats, not with your neck. So if you're feeling like you're just all tight in your neck, lower the weight, lessen the movement, so slow it down, and really work on the hold with the neck drop, making the neck soft, okay? That's your kettlebell shoulder roll. Steph did a great job at demoing it. You always wanna even the exercise out. That means if you're going three to five reps one way, you wanna make sure we go three to five reps the other way. If you're doing 10 reps, do five and five. If you're doing 20 reps, do 10 and 10, or do five, 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 break it down. Switch every couple when you start to fatigue. All right, uh, any key points? Last thing is set up in the lower body, that athletic stance we always talk about. Yes, so explain, a little bit of knee tension. So, yep, with the athletic stance, you want your feet pointing straight ahead, shoulder to hip width apart, uh, roll the knees open slightly to create that arch, if you don't have one like me and then just turning those glutes on so that you're kind of setting the breathing, the butt, the back, setting up your kind of core area. Cool, man. So, good points. You got your three Bs as always that we focus on in every video, in every exercise, in every aspect of your life. Use the three Bs, get strong at it. As always, live empowered, stay strong. Subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram, give us your tips, your tricks. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them.